Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you a really neat solar contraption that a friend of mine designed. It's called a solar coffin. So you can see the 8 inch PVC pipe over there that's sucking air in to this coffin. And you can actually see the inlet pipe there down at the bottom. So it's a plywood box painted black with reused patio doors. And the air in here gets up to about 100 degrees Celsius, so extremely hot. There's the air outlet for the coffin and that travels underground into the straw bale house. So the pipes, the air is piped through non-perforated weeping tile or big O under slab and it preheats the slab all summer long and actually in the shoulder season as well. Apologize for the shakiness here. And the house has $150 a month approximately in bills and that's for water and electricity. There's no natural gas or propane to heat it. That air travels under slab and then it exhausts out of a solar chimney on the integrated passive solar greenhouse on the building itself. The house has about R40 walls. Really, really energy efficient and warm. Concrete floors for thermal mass. There's that solar chimney. That's where the air leaves after passing underneath the slab from the solar chimney. Two solar thermal panels and standing seam roof. I'm a really, really big fan of standing seam roof. These roofs are really unique because if you want, you can actually build an airspace underneath them and turn them into a solar air heater as well. They're really effective. It's amazing what a little bit of innovation and design can do to allow you to be really comfortable and energy efficient even in a cold climate like this one here in Invermere.